Hello everyone. This is the video number four, uh, finding elements. In this video, we are going to cover how to find the element and, for example, if any elements in the web page, for example, Amazon.com, how to find the element and how to click any element and perform some operation. So still now we know how to go to any website or any go to how to go to any web pages. Uh, it is done by driver drivers driver dot navigate it goes to any of the web pages that you gave in this URL content <coughs> after that once you go to any web pages if how to find any elements or how to perform operations of any elements for example if I want to go to amazon.com and if I want to click this card uh, manually we just go and click here how to do is programmatically how to do this from selenium this is going to cover in this video number four all right <coughs> in this each and every element in the any pages is given by <coughs> tags for example in this card just right click and inspect you can see in this element section you can see entire web page source code it is written in html and entire each and every element is designed in a tag you can see here that this card is encapsulated in this span tag so entire page is html tag so we need to say the driver that programmatically we should say the driver that go and click this element <clears throat> this is done by these seven types one is we can say driver by giving the idea of this <coughs> element which should be unique make sure that this id of this button or this element should be unique so that driver can easily find out that you are saying this element and can go directly and click it and second type is we can give a class name for example see you can see that this id has a class name as nav dash dash so you can give this class name and tell the driver that go and click this element make sure that whatever the class name you are giving is a unique all right and uh, our css selector you can give name link text tag name and xpath we will cover one by one in this chapter okay one is id and class name so if we want to tell the driver that go to this element by id then each and every id should be start with hash for example if a <coughs> tag is div id this type and which has a id as well as class name if you want to say the driver that go to this element by id then dio.find element and by.id by is a is an object from that you are deriving this method id method and you are going to pass the id of this tag image viewer hyphen tmp so the each and every id should be start with hash make sure that this id is a unique throughout this your page all right and if you want to start with class this should be start with a dollar this is full stop or a dot make sure that this class name also unique as well <coughs> so id should start with the start with the hash and class name should be start with a dot on um, for example and if you don't specify any tag before the id name or a class name it in default it is a div tag division tag if you have any other tags for example input tag body tag para, paragraph tag then you should explicitly it's better to specify the tag name for example in this you can see that input name is equal to email so driver dot find element in the bracket by dot name so you are telling that it is a name type and input hash email email is the name of that tag and uh, so input is the type of the tag so it is better if it is not a division tag it is better to explicitly tell the tag name <coughs> so you have id class and name types are done so if it is how to type the tag name if you have a drill down or a drop down in that type it's better to use a tag name 
so if it drop down is having a five option then it is better to give a drop down name the select in this by dot tag name this is tag name dot if you make a get text or something it will give all the five values in this drop down this is the name this is the use of tag name and one more is xpath <clears throat> how to find so <coughs> xpath if you want to say the each and every element by using a xpath then if it is a through an id then you should better you can specify input input is a tag name you can say yeah input email or something then input is a tag name and at id is equal to email or you can directly tell that to bar star flower bracket <coughs> no square bracket in that at id equal to email and in case of name it's also same name in this in here you should specify a name and if it is a class here you should specify a class i can tell you one more easiest way how to find the xpath of each and every element is just go in this go to in any page for example in an amazon dot in go to amazon dot in and for example zero cart right click inspect in this inspect you can see element span so just this element span span when you hover this span element you can see this you can see here element is highlighted so just right click copy here you can see copy selector and copy xpath so copy xpath that's you have a element xpath of that element so this is the xpath of this cart button make sure that this xpath is unique all right in the indirectly make sure that id of this button is or this element is unique for if for example if this id now cart count is some used in somewhere in in this page itself then driver will be confused that which element to going to click so that time it's going to throw an exception so make sure in case of class in class name in case of id in case of tag name in everything make sure that this id in m is unique so this is the xpath so hash to bar the the star of square bracket at id now cart count so this is what the xpath of this element and remember la one more part is if a class name for example um so okay you can see now hill so you can see here div if what i want to say is class name is a big one so you can see here this is a class name is so big that there are some spaces if you specify like this the driver won't understand if you specify spaces so if there is a space in a class name you should be replaced with a dot so it becomes like to specify like dollar replace spaces with dollar so this is the class name of the of this element so so there if there is a space replace with the dot, dots that's it so this is a xpath and last one is css selectors so what i prefer is you make use of a css selector for each and every element in a, any web page so that it's easy to driver to find out which element you are going to say so and it's advanced it is much much better than xpath and it is faster in case of any of the browser and driver can easily find out and there will there won't be much <coughs> confusion or any exception thrown by driver what is css selector css selector means for each and every page is just every element in html is just like a tree structure so <coughs> in that i will tell you in some easily how to find css element is same way how we are going to do with xpath just go to element any element and path inspect and inspect in this element 
this is the tag and this is anchor tag in this cart yeah yeah this anchor tag just go to right click copy copy selector and in console let's remove that let's remove this this dollar bracket double quotes bracket so in this inside a double quotes just paste whatever you copied and enter when you <coughs> when you hover the this tag which is output of this script so this element will be highlighted so for example if i want to click just dot click yeah this element has clicked so it came to this element this page and saying this cat is empty so if you press manually it's going to happen the same thing and if you press from the program it's the same going to happen see it's going to happen the same thing this is what the css selector so whatever this is if you make use of a css selector <coughs> driver can easily find out what which element you are going to say so this is the advantage of uh, comparing with compare with id class xpath everything